I'm Leah Terachansky with The Real News in Tel Aviv. Today the social justice movement made historic steps as thousands of people spontaneously poured onto the streets in response to yesterday's violent arrests of the symbolic leader of the movement, Daphne Leaf. Today the movement upped the ante. Three bank windows were broken and the police responded with brutal force, arresting dozens of people. This is the rage that people have been talking about that's been building up for a very long time now. What happened was that last year all the demonstrations were very peaceful. It was all like, let's just go out in the streets and say what we want and everything will change, everything will be better. And a year has passed and all the things just, everything has just deteriorated. We see more cuts in the budget, more benefits for the rich and so on and so on. And everybody has been saying there's rage being, building up. If you're not going to change the policy, it's going to break out at some point. And now it's breaking out. שישי הייתה גם כן הפגנה שבה אה, נעצרו באלימות אה, הרבה מאוד אנשים, אני ראיתי את זה אה, וזה בעצם מה שהביא אותי לכאן כי ההרגשה שלי היא ששודדים את הדמוקרטיה בעצם וצריך להגן עליה כמה שזה אבסורד אבל אה, בדמוקרטיה אמור להיות מותר אה, למחות. Yes, the, the trigger was the arrest of Daphne Leaf who made like a distant normal demonstration she just opened a tent in the middle of Rochelle Boulevard, something that she did last year and they couldn't imagine it would become like a national movement. This year, because they understood the po potential of this act, they immediately arrested her. And after the attack on the demonstration yesterday, which was very brutal, with police beating up demonstrators who thought they were mainstream, who thought that there's no reason to, to beat them up, as opposed to like anarchists or Palestinians or something, they, they thought that they would be protected Suddenly they saw what police brutality is, and this is uh, the rage and the police brutality united, and this is the result. בין המאות אלפים שהשתתפו במחאה, אה, לחלק ניכר אה, הייתה גם איזושהי, איזשהו סימן שאלה לגבי הממשלה, איך היא הולכת להגיב, אה, האם, בעצם, אה, האם הממשלה הולכת להפנים ש, שהמצב השתנה, ש, שהמונים בארץ נגדם, שהמונים בארץ דורשים מהם לשנות את המדיניות, ומה שראינו בשנה הזאת, שהממשלה הבינה את זה, ו... ו, ו, ומה שהממשלה עשתה אחרי שהיא הבינה את זה זה להמשיך בכל הכוח באותה מדיניות בעוד יותר ברוטליות, בעוד יותר חקיקה 
אנטי דמוקרטית שאמורה בעצם למנוע מאיתנו למחות עם דגש על הפרד ומשול, על סכסכנות קודם כל בין יהודים וערבים אבל גם בינינו לב, כאילו לפלג את 99 אחוז כאילו בכל דרך אפשרית אזרחים ופליטים, מהגרים ותושבים חדשים ולאנשים כאילו נופל האסימון One group decided to go and block Ayalon, the main road in the city. While we were walking on Azrieli, we were looking on the two biggest powers that control us, the government building on one side and Azrieli Center that represents um, all the biggest um, fortune holders in, in Israel on our right. <laughs> to walk back on Akiria, back to here to unify with all the others. And this is the city hall. This protest is also against Khuldai, the mayor of the city, Tel Aviv, who also represents a political agenda that fits the political agenda of all the um, tycoons that we are fighting against, encouraging gentrification and ignoring the, south, the neighborhoods of South Tel Aviv. <laughs> What we see is the leftovers of a uh, bank window. Um, this is not a typical demonstration in Israeli terms, uh, where bank windows have been shattered here and down the street and up the street. It seems that everything is fine. It seems that the, every, that the economy here is flourishing, but actually the economy here is flourishing for, again, as people said in the US, for 1%, for only 1%. So it comes from the mid-class who can't take it anymore. And that's why I think this year, all the anger came, through, came out against the banks, the main banks here in Tel Aviv, the main banks of Israel. <laughs> For the real news, I'm Leah Terchansky in Tel Aviv.